Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. This is Michael the Two and a Half Stooges, and this is Battle of Fantasy IV. Alright, so real quick, this guy here, Guardian Treasure Chest, what are you? Annoying, that's what you are. Excuse me a minute. Okay, I'm moving on. I say the word moving on way too much. Um, I guess it's worth mentioning that off, um, between this recording and the last one, I went and upgraded a bunch of skills and uh, weapons and stuff. Um, so I probably should be a little bit better at taking down some of these more um, annoying monoliths and whatnot. Ooh, look dark. We haven't seen dark in a while. That is better. Ooh, look dark. Fire Hydra is nice. I like Fire Hydra. Um, hmm. Completely carved from ice. These little fur bags. Uh, yes, I believe you can call them that. Myself, I prefer to refer to cats as, uh, I don't know, carriers of allergies, but, um, fur bags works too. Uh, found some treasure in there, some random springs and whatnot. Um, we have all those torches, so now we can go and, um, do stuff. But first, uh, that would require finding a dragon. And, um, this thing. It's probably worth mentioning that, um, even though I upgraded a bunch of stats and weapons earlier, I haven't really changed many of those equips earlier, or, um, recently, because, well, I just don't really know what I'm going to be up against. Um, because, like, here I see dark, but outside there's plenty of sand, and, um, not so long ago there's a lot of water, and, like, so is changing, and, um, even within the same battle, I don't even know if I'm going to be, uh, seeing stuff that's really, um, Share a common weakness or attack the style or anything like that. Um, I'm going to go and fight that dragon later. I want to walk around and I want my HP regenerate level. Uh, you want a bunch of scrolls. Ooh, look, I can walk in clouds. Interesting. Um, that was random. I should give them to you, yes, because maybe you can um, decipher them. I'm going to guess that you're pretty strong since it looks like you're guarding a bunch of enemies and um, another scroll. Yes, we are high up now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can't walk on that because, um,. I guess that would require another kind of boot or something. But, uh, let's go and explore a little. Let's see a mage bird. This isn't people. We are all children of God Cat. Okay. I think that's, um, uh, definitely one of the stranger religions that I've ever heard of. Okay, guys? Um, yeah, Rock Smash, and that would let me go down there. Um,. Do I want to go back to that dragon now? I guess I'll go back to that dragon now that my HP's regenerated a little. Um, right. Should be interesting. Dark Pyre Hydra. I'm actually going to save here first. Because I'm an impulsive saver and I just have this weird random feeling something's going to go wrong here and Google Chrome is going to crash again. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, first thing we do is scan you. Wait, there was, I saw a bunch of question marks. Did I already scan you? I don't recognize you. But it looked like I... Oh, whatever. I guess I wasted a turn then. Um, hmm. I might have seen you, um, like, off-screen a little when I was just going back and fighting random enemies and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, you are weak to only water and holy. Only water and holy. Alright. Um, yeah, that didn't do nearly as much as I was hoping for. Alright, next time I'm going to be using Natalie's Luma Break. Definitely. Uh, I really don't have anything I can use against them, except the water here. Yeah, okay, that's a bad idea. So, I guess we'll be doing that later. Those things are either at a really high level, because I forget what level they were already, or they're just, like, ridiculously uh, high stats. Alright, so these are some cloud things that I don't recognize. I'm assuming Thunder will be effective against them. Maybe Ice, too. Whatever it's effective against, um, flying in Pokemon, I don't know. Um, that would be your mute to rock, actually. And another poison dark. Okay. Um, Matt, you have a dark attack, although it's, um, magic attack, so I don't think it'll be doing all that much damage. Eh. And poison. That was okay. Um, that's a weird looking attack. 
Oh come on, I'm, I hate being siphoned. If all, I think of all my um statuses, because I may be like freeze and sun, which immobilize you completely. Uh, siphon is probably my least favorite because it essentially you can't attack. You can attack, but you also can't attack because so many of your skills are sealed, and it's rather annoying. So I think I'll be unsiphoning myself. Um, what do I want to do? Let's bump you off real quick. Ooh, one hit KO. I actually didn't expect that. And save your for for later. Maybe when I go remaster dragons or something. See how much this does. Okay, so I killed that one on the edge. Ooh, squeaky chairs. Uh, my magic defense is down, which isn't good because you hardly have any magic defense to begin with. Actually, that's not real true. You just have like a, a um, significant percent less HP than the rest of them. Uh, you can go down and then. I'm surprised the um surprised Thunder is perfect against these guys and poison poison is that's really kind of random. Uh, oh my god, there's gonna be another wave of this too. Alrighty then. Bunch of sky enemies there. And what are you guarding? Some food, some watermelon. Can I actually get this treasure system down here? Nope, that tree's in the way. Um this looks interesting. I want some HP back though. There we go. I'm kind of expecting a hard battle here because, like I said a little while ago, um, auto revive. Oh my god. I remember that very well from some past game. Anyway, because, like I said before, these are um, kind of guarding lots of uh, treasure and stuff like that. Um, scanner. Where are you? You're probably dark, because they're like, well, they're lightish color, and I don't know, they just, they just look like they would be holy and weak to dark. Yeah. Not an elemental aside from that, though. Let's see if Auto Life works the exact same way as it did in the last game. So now I really wish I had that, um... What was it? Oh my god. That skill that, um... That took away status or something like that? Whatever. Uh, it was something I never bothered to learn because it didn't have very much attack power and now I have a feeling it's going to come bite me in the butt. Because if the last game is any good example, um, once you get to the end of the game, you do start to want to, um... Do things like that because, uh... When foes increase their stats, like, a specific example would be, let's see, yep, you just uh, reincarnated. A specific example would be the Pyro Hydra from Epic, Epic Battle Fantasy 3. It just, like, all its stats went plus 70 if an ally died. That was just painful. Anyway. That's going to... Oh, okay. I, I was expecting it to give it HP back from uh, getting hit by a holy attack. Although, I guess, um, Max Physical Attack is only like 50% Holy Elemental because that's, um... I don't remember. Die already, darn it. That wasn't quite as bad as I expected, although I am out of coffee now and I should probably go and buy some of that off screen. Uh, what is in all this? I'm probably going to need another key for that, but oh well. Uh, that's one more scroll. Yeah, I need another gold key. Um, now speaking of gold scrolls, there was some guy over here that just wanted four of them, and I have four of them now. So, um, walking around this mage bird. Have we seen mage birds in this game yet? I don't remember. Yeah, so, uh, no shoes that let us walk on clouds, unfortunately. Um, rock smash. It's another one of these weird things here. Um, I'm still trying to uh, kind of put off fighting some enemies because I want to get some HP back by walking around in circles. I uh, can't go here either, unfortunately, so I guess the only way to go is down uh, or fight these guys. 
But I'm going to end things off here. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Epic Battle Fantasy 4 playthrough. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, watch some other videos I've uploaded, and see you later.